Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a Goodwill Bins shoe haul, plus I have a Goodwill retail clothing haul. Um, I also have a bag and a wallet that I got from the bins that I'll show you as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell those. I might keep them. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get into what I picked up at the bin. <music> So at the bins, I spent $30.54, and I got some good shoes, I think. So um, the first pair that I got were these Eileen Fisher. These are the Sign Ankle Strap Flat Sandals. <laughs> they retail for $185, and these are size 9.5, so they're in really good shape. They do have like a metallic color to them. Um, the prices on Poshmark right now kind of range from uh, $40 to $90, so I'll probably list these somewhere in the middle of that, um, but they're in excellent condition. The next shoes are these Vionics. These are the Carols. They retail for about $119. On Poshmark, They it's a range. Uh, like always, there's always a huge range. Um, but these, I will probably list at about 35 because one of them right here does have a little spot of wear where it's thinning. Um, I'm not sure if these are suede. I think they are. So it's just the suede on the fabric is kind of thinning right there. Um, but they have like a shimmer to them. Um, and they're like a lavender color. Um, and they are size nine and a half as well. So I thought they were a good pickup for, you know, $1.89. The next are these Emmy flats. These retail for $59 and I will probably list these for $25. More than likely they'll sell for about $15. Um, but they are tan leather and these are size, I think these are size eights. Yes, size eight. The next shoes I picked up were these Ivanka Trump leather pointy toe uh, flats. These are size six and a half. These do have some wear on the pointy toe. I'm going to use some Doc Martin uh, Wonder Balm on there. It's a really great item to use if you don't have any. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go check them out on Amazon. Um, but yeah, it, it really does help the leather. Um, they also have some peeling on the inside and I didn't realize until after I got home, but um, I'll have to try to look into what to do because I have sold shoes before that had peeling on the inside. I always put it in my description, um, but I've also had people uh, open cases after they got the item saying that the peeling was a lot worse than what was said in the description. Um, and so that could be the case for these. So um, I may just peel all of it off. I don't know yet. <laughs> if you have uh, any idea of what I could do for peeling and lining, let me know. Um, but yeah, so these probably will be listed at 25 and probably will sell for a little bit less than that. The next pair are these, I believe these are the Quinn. These are Tory Burch. They're quilted patent leather. These are size six. They're in actually pretty good condition. Um, there's no major scuffing on the, the leather at all. It's, um, just a little bit of wear right here on the sole. Um, but that's to be expected. So... Um, I thought this was a pretty good find. It did take me a while to find the match for this one, but I was able to find it. And during the process, I found these. Another pair of Tory Burch. So these are the Riva Tumbled Leather uh, Royal Tan Flats. And these are size nines. They're in really great condition as well. Um, there's very light wear here and back here, which I will be able to take care of with my Doc Martens Wonder Balm. And um, the only real wear that I see on these is just the heel is a little worn down. Um, besides that, they're in really good shape. So I will probably list these at about 85 and the black ones at 70 to 75, just starting um, and leave room for offers and whatnot. So these are in actually really good condition compared to 
um, some that I picked up in the past. So I know I'll be able to make probably 40, 50 bucks off of them. Um, these ones actually fit me and they're nine. So I thought that was interesting. They're a little snug, but I don't think I'll keep them, but still, um, they do run, I would say a little bit larger than a nine, probably like a half size up. Um, but yeah, so that's that. All right. So these are the J crew Isabella, uh, pumps. They're like a patent leather and suede. And these are size six and I thought they were really cool looking. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I will probably list these for about $50 and leave room for offers. Um, I'm not sure. I think they retail for about 250 bucks. So, um, good find. There was no major wear on them whatsoever. I mean, the inside sole has a little bit of wear on it, but besides that, just regular wear. All right. So the next pair that I picked up were these Birkenstock Milano's. These retail for about $99. I will probably list these for $35, $40. I'll probably end up getting about $20, $25 for them. Um, but these are the ones that have like a strap on the back. These are size 38, which is a seven to seven and a half in women's. And they're in pretty good shape. Um, back here, there is some wear right here. Um, but I have sold some with that same wear before and still, I think I sold them for like 25. So I don't think that'll be an issue regardless. They're in pretty good shape. Um, the next pair are these coconuts by Matisse. These are the botanical leather slides. Um, these retail for $75 and these, uh, have sold on Poshmark for between 35 and $40. So I will try to... Uh, list them for about 40 bucks and go from there. So they're in really good shape. These are Lulu's. I was thinking about keeping them and then I was like, am I really ever going to wear heels like this? I really don't think I would. Um, maybe just to like get dressed up one night and be like, hey boyfriend, look at me. That'd be like the only way <laughs> that I would wear these. Um, but these are suede, they're black suede. They only retail for $34, so I can't get a lot for them. Lulu stuff is pretty cheap. Um, it's surprising to me to see some larger resellers selling their Lulus for way more than retail prices. So it's a little confusing to me how they do that. Um, but yeah, these I will list at like 25 and go from there. I don't expect to get 25 for them, but they're really cute. So these don't have the size sticker on them. Uh, these are, well, I tried them on, they're a size 10 in my opinion, um, but they could be like an 11, but I'm gonna say 10 and I'll add measurements in and all of that, but the sticker is gone, so um, yeah. The next shoes are these Earth shoes. These are the Celeste Biscuit Soft Leather. Um, flats and they, I don't know what they retail for, but I'll list them for about 35. They're in excellent condition. Um, I don't really see anything wrong with them whatsoever. The bottom is nice. So, and then the last pair of shoes that I picked up were these Corkies. These are the Laurelin. They are black tumbled leather or pebbled leather, whatever you want to call it and they're just a little sandal. These are size nines and um, leather upper and then the balance man-made materials. They're in good shape. I have another pair just like these, I'm pretty sure, um, minus the back strap in my closet, which I think they are the tizzy, I think is what they're called, but I'll probably um, list these for about 40 bucks and take offers on them. Um, Corky's hasn't been really moving for me lately, but I still pick them up um, because I do know that if I go low enough, they will sell. And if I buy them for a pretty cheap price, like $1.89 a pound, then most anything I take is going to be a profit. Um, but I do try to hold out a little bit to see if anybody will pick them up um, because for a while they did really well. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was all the shoes. Now as for the clothing, I picked up this L.L. Bean. This is 100% wool. It is a duffel coat, I believe is what it's called. It is missing the hat. 
So that's unfortunate, but it's still a nice coat without the hat. 100% wool, green, no holes, nothing wrong with it. Um, this one is exclu exclusive for L.L. Bean. It's Bellandi, B-E-L-L-A-N-D-I. And this is a size 12. Um, but yeah, this is in good shape. So I think I paid $8.75 for this. Um, these things that I picked up, the total was $18 for everything. So, um, this is another LL Bean I got home and realized that was probably a mistake. It is oversaturated already. This is a size 14. Um, it's just a corduroy floral blazer. There's a ton of them already listed, not in a size 14. I think there's like two in a size 14 like this and the rest of them like size 12s. So I, I paid a dollar for this, so uh, you know, I'll probably sell it for like 15 bucks. Um, the next piece is this North Face women's jacket. It's in excellent condition. Um, it is the, I forget the name of it. It starts with an O, <laughs> but um, I think it retails for like about 90 bucks, something like that. This is a large, so this is a large and it's in really good shape. It's clean. No stains, it's very soft. The uh, material isn't all worn out like a lot of them that you will find where they're kind of beat up already. Um, this one has a lot of life left in it. So I will list this for about 40 bucks and go from there. Hopefully I can get about 30. Um, typically I sell these types of jackets for 20 to 25. So we'll see. And last but not least, we have this anthropology top it is moth and it is size small it's kind of like a dolman top it is short sleeve knit and it was a dollar on the dollar rack so i grabbed it i thought it would be a good pickup what is that oh i thought it was a hole but yeah so that is it so i got three more items from the bins which i just found <laughs> Um, so the first piece is this Kate Spade bag. Now, I don't know much about Kate Spade, but they just kind of threw it down and it made me think, well, maybe it wasn't real, but everything about it looks real to me. All of the hardware, everything, the stitching, everything's on point. It's got the patent leather, Kate Spade, New York on the bottom. If you know what this bag is called, let me know. The only problem I did see with this, which some people do not like, is it has a lot of uh staining on the inside so the inside does not look that great but the outside is in perfect condition so i don't know so it is some sort of tote and i thought it was nice nice enough to pick up for a dollar 89 i mean i'm not gonna leave it behind and there's that i also picked up this uh tory birch fake wallet it is not real um i'm just gonna keep it for myself because I don't care if it's real or not. I need a new wallet. Um, I bought one the other day. I don't really like it. This one is a little bit smaller than it though now that I'm looking at it, but it's in good shape. So I will probably keep this. Um, I don't think it's real, but I don't know how I would tell. I mean, the stitching is on point, so no, it's not. Never mind. It's not. <laughs> But yeah, so a nice little fake Tory Burch wallet for myself. And then the last piece from the bins was this coach. I guess it's like a clutch. Um, I don't know. It's like a black leather made in the USA. That's all it is. It's just like a little clutch. So I don't know. I'll have to look into this. I have not seen one like this. I'm sure this would not sell for a lot, maybe 15, 20 bucks. Um, it does have a lot of wear on the leather, um, which I usually am able to clean that up really well. Um, but yeah, so this was another piece that I picked up. All right, guys, so that is everything that I picked up this week. So this was my first thrift store this week that I have been to. Typically, I am going out of town on Tuesdays to thrift, but I didn't do that this week because it was election day on Tuesday, and I had a horrible migraine all day long. I had to call into work. Um, so yeah, I didn't do much of anything on Tuesday. Definitely didn't go thrifting. Um, so, uh, it is Thursday and you'll be seeing this video next Wednesday. Um, but yeah, I don't plan on going to any more thrift stores this week. If we see any thrift stores that are open on the weekend when we go up to the mountains, possibly, 
but I doubt it. So um, I will get back to thrifting, uh, hopefully in Charlotte on Tuesday or Wednesday next week, depending on my mom's work schedule, because I like to drag her with me. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of video, be sure to leave me a like before you leave. And if you're not subscribed, I welcome you to do so. We are really close to 1500 subscribers, and I think that's amazing for the fact that I started at zero. It is slow going, but it's still kind of neat to see that number go up. Um, so I appreciate every single one of you who watch my videos. You mean the world to me. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Have a great day. Take care and stay safe. Bye.